Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with another 12-12 siege for you today and this is the siege of Vienna well we've done it already once before but this time we're doing it in the winter it would seem and uh, yeah so we have Bohemia defending this time and um, they did take part in the siege of Vienna we didn't uh, show them in our version that we did but this one was sent in by a sub uh, and they decided to use Bohemia instead and um, we also have Poland obviously waiting out in the uh, dark, gloomy uh, distance to appear and help their allies. And it looks like we're going to have some fire arrows coming down now. It looks like these towers are already 53% damage here. What's this one at? 47. But, I mean, this looks awesome. I mean, like, it's already pretty damaged. Is the wall, are the walls, are the arches here. Just getting ready, holding the line. Won't give an inch. They're going to try and burn these things up. They might get, so they might get th this one down over here. This one's at 60%, going nearly 70%. Not a bad use of ammo. I mean, you might want to save it for all these, uh, this horde of Ottomans back here. But it is a fairly even, um, like, s battle at this point. I mean, the Polish aren't going to be involved in this for a very long, long time. Uh, but we have 5,700 against 5,300. And you could probably say a good 700 of those are probably um, the Polish cab made up over there. But, even though they fired a lot of arrows into this thing, it's going to make it to the walls by the looks of it. I say that just as it gets into the 90s. I don't know, they might not get it down in time. 96. Oh, 97. Nice. Come on. One more good volley. 98, 99. There it goes. I'm pretty sure it's 100, no, 99% damage. One more volley. All it needs. There you go. 100%. And that tower is on fire. Rarely ever see that. And that looks awesome. This guy's coming off the tower as it's on fire. Imagine being one of those guys up there. Like, oh, gosh, this is hot. Quickly, run, 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 run. But how much damage? Yeah, it's already at 40%. These guys are desperately trying to get off. Are they trying to get off or are they trying to get on? Or oh, they're still trying to go up. Oh, dear, this is going to be horrendous for the Osman player. I want to see this as this comes down. Yes, I mean, they'll probably make the Martelosos that get up here, uh, which is like a Greek uh, infantry unit in support of. There you go. Look how how many died. How many of them died? Oh, not that many. I think quite a lot of them got up. Uh, quite a lot of them are still stuck down here. I feel like this, they just don't die if... Uh, I don't know. They must die, surely, if like, this collapses. But this, this unit up here is actually wavering. I guess because it's split in two. I would have thought these, oh, these are archer sergeants. They might actually do okay in combat. I didn't realize they were just basic archers. Uh, we've got archer sergeants over here as well. These guys seem to be doing okay. Uh, this one's also about to collapse. But yeah, so this is uh, this is how it is going to start off. It would seem we're going to have two burning towers. They have two culverines. They might want to start mobilizing them soon. But yeah, so if you've been enjoying the content at the moment and enjoying Siege Week, which this is uh, the fourth uh, Siege of Siege Week. Actually, no, fifth. We're on. It's a Friday. Um, but yeah, so I hope you're enjoying Siege Week so far. If you are, then please do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment to show your support. And thank you for everyone that's uh, helped us get to 1,500 subs. We are now there. I mean, let's just go onwards and upwards, guys, I say. Like... We can, uh, I'm sure we can get higher and much, much higher. Let's try and get to 2,000. I'm sure we can do that. 2,000, I'm sure we can do. But yeah, so the Martelosos are uh, slowly actually killing off these archer sergeants. They haven't actually been given the order to attack, which would probably help. And if they attack, the, these ones attacked as well. They could probably overwhelm them. They have overwhelmed the ones over on here. That's a big loss for the Ottomans straight off the bat. These guys are just going to get chopped down as they go back. But yeah, let's have a quick look at the Polish uh, forces. I mean, they've got a lot of uh, Polish knights. What have they got here? They've just got a general bodyguard or king's bodyguard. But yes, the, here are all the Poles. All late period. And then you have over here, high period. Uh, Great Banner of Krakow, I believe. Yeah. This unit, though, is very strong. It doesn't matter that it's high. These guys will still wreck uh, late tier units. It's a very, one of the strongest, I'd say. One of the strongest cavalry units. Why are you only allowed one? But yes, I'm sure the Poles are just waiting, licking their lips, ready to cr crush these. I mean, the Ottomans are bring a fair amount of cav, and it's well chevroned. But uh, I guess if they get the right charge off the Poles, and they've got more numbers so they could surround the cav, um, they should do okay. 
I imagine the Poles won't attack it either till uh, most of the Ottoman forces have been mobilized. But here we go, Culverines have been uh, initiated, you could say, I guess. Ordered to fire. There you go, they're firing, and that's probably going to hit straight away there, isn't it? Yeah, this is going to go straight for this bit of the wall here, which is already at 85%, it's gone down to 95%, and they're desperately going to try and get their archer sergeants off there. Smart. I presume the other ones go on for stuff over here. This one's in a bit more of an I issue. Oh, actually, did he fire there? No, it looks like he... Oh, he's firing here. Also, not a bad place to be firing, actually. I certainly knocked down this hole, and I'd definitely knock down this one. Um, but yes, yeah, so hopefully we get a couple more volleys from the Culverine in a moment. But I mean, this is a huge Ottoman army. Oh, there you go. That's Yeah, that's definitely gone. There you go. That hole in the wall is opened up already. Uh, a few sergeants died from that. The bodies from the past fighter there. And then the Culverine for the, on the wall here trying to do his bit. I, pr I would definitely be firing to that massive infantry over there. That is a big massive infantry. Don't bother taking out the Culverines. You won't hit them all. Um, but yeah, I mean, 89% here. This is still 52%. I definitely need to be shooting both of these. These two areas now are like... I get both Culverin just firing like maybe on one and then move on to the next with just the far, the furthest one on the left here. Yeah, it's still trying to do it. 80... It's also trying to, get, it's also trying to take out this wall here. 81%. I presume it's hitting these Pavis up here, which I mean, they are doing. What are they being hit by? 60... Uh, I don't know. They're getting off the wall now, though. They're getting off the wall now. And there you go. They've won here on the walls with these sergeants that came up to help. I mean, they're just leaving themselves very open to the Ottomans when they uh, eventually refire their uh, cannons. It's obstructed, apparently. Don't know what by. But I'm going to just fast forward a little bit. Um, for now, I don't think it needs cut worthy because I want to see where these breaches come down. But yeah, so what else has the Poles got? I mean, they've got a fairly good defense back here. Um, they've got lots of Pavis Spears. Lots of... Oh, Sergeant Spears as well. I thought these were all Pavis. Um, they've actually got very little swords. So they can't really do many counter -tracks. They've got some pole arms ready to defend all these choke points here. Uh, it'll be interesting to see. Interesting to see what they do. I think they're getting more stuff off the walls. Are they firing again? I'm not even sure. I don't think they are. I, don't, I think this obstruction is not helping. Yeah, they are very obstructed by their infantry. They just need to move their infantry out of the way, and these guys can fire quite easily. Move your archers. You fools. Yeah, he's realized. Hey, there we go. So I'm sure that these walls... Yeah, 67, 72. There! Oh! That one came down. That one got a lot of people, I think. That one definitely would have taken a good chunk of those archer sergeants. Yeah. Well, there's another breach opened at least. I think they can get at least four open, I would have said. They can certainly open up this one here on 86%. And this one here, which is on 72. Might be able to take some other places out. There's a 56 over here. That's also probably takeable. Always helps when the uh, city's pretty much destroyed. But I think it's just a bombardment stage, so I am going to make a cut. Uh, this is not very entertaining to watch for you guys, so I will uh, rejoin you when the infantry are starting to storm the walls. So see you guys in a moment. So we are back. It wasn't that long a cut. It was probably about five minutes, if that. Um, and yeah, the infantry is almost here. There's a few more breaches that have been made. Um, arrows are now pouring down on these poor archers up here, which can literally go nowhere. And they're already being bombarded by artillery. And oh, there we go. Another... Excellent, uh, well, scene of, like, infantry being killed. I mean, they'd actually got a lot of their own Martellosas as the rubble fell down. So, I mean, a small little victory there for the, uh, Bohemians, but not much. And um, this wall over here is about to come down as well, I think. This one here, 91%. Yeah, I mean, these, uh, archers up here could be in trouble. I mean, they're actually getting focused down as well by arrows. But, I mean, yeah, so it looks like we've got troops going in. What have we got in here first? Then we've got Martellosos. In here, fighting off sergeants. And the infantry clash has begun. Um, I don't know actually who will win this. This is a fairly even fight. I'm going to say the sergeants mainly going to lose because look at the arrows just flying in, just annihilating these units. Yeah, losing decisively. Yeah, no surprise there actually. 
Um, walls destroyed. Ah, oh, yeah, another breach opened up here. I mean, the Turks are doing a really good job on re opening up lots and lots of breaches. Um, basically just to give themselves as many ways in and stretch uh, Bohemia. I would definitely be knocking down this wall as well, open this breach up even more. It may kill some of these uh, sergeants down here. But, I mean, yeah, I mean, the host of Turks is just getting closer and closer to this wall. And here you go, Marslos is coming through here. I mean, they can flank these sergeants now if they wanted to. But, I mean, there's no need. These sergeants are going to die. I would start pressing on, either go for the walls and take the archers out, which is possibly a good idea. But it looks like he's going to go for the sergeants. And they're already breaking. Don't even need to attack them. Over here, we've also got another fight in the breach here. More Martelosas. Fight more sergeants. And there you go. The gates are soon going to be uh, the Turks. And look at this. This unit up here, literally, they look, took out all the towers, killing this Pavi's crossbow unit off so badly. And... Uh, yeah, basically now it's stuck up here. You, and it has routed. So but they're, they're like the most well-ordered routing unit I've ever seen. But yeah, so the uh, Reign of Arrows is still coming in. They're firing fire arrows still, uh, the uh, defenders. They're taking out this tower up here as well. Have the attackers. How much haven't they still have on their Culverine? Not much. Uh, I, would still, I would still take out this bit of the wall here. Or just save your armor now for like, um, I don't know, for pikes or whatever, I don't know. But I mean, I'm pretty sure I just saw an artillery piece of theirs, yeah. Okay, so they've also got an artillery piece back here. They've got a mortar. Ah! Very nice. So where's that aiming at the moment? That looks like it's going after these, uh, martelosos here. They're on 128. Yeah, that one, that one did not hit so well. That one's just set alight the top of a wall. I'm not quite sure how you managed that, but they did it. Um, but yeah, so the Turks are inside the first line of the wall. I mean, they've got a pretty tough defense to get through now. They've got halberds, which I mean, I'd just be setting up archers to take these guys out. They've got sergeants after. And they've got spear sergeants as well. And they've got plenty of crossbows back here. But I mean, you want to get the crossbows on the wall. Get these guys back on the wall. Um, because crossbows aren't great when firing like this. They can see obstructed. They're trying to fire in here. You need to get them at a bit more of a higher level to fire down. Yes, the fight in here with the sergeants is still going strong. How these men haven't broken, who will know? And they're fighting over here as well, holding this little corner. When are the poles getting here? Everyone's already asking. Where were the poles when the West Fold fell? Well, they weren't in that universe to start with. You could ask where were the poles when Vienna fell, because it's looking like that at the moment. But you do imagine that they uh, are going to appear. I mean, the answer to where are the poles when Vienna fell is uh, about five fields over to the left. Actually, it's more than five fields. Say, I'd say 20 fields over to the left. That's where they were. Um, but yeah, so it looks like the Martelosas have done the job. They've got inside. They've breached. I feel like that's what their purpose was, really. They're a cheap unit. Also, the Turks wouldn't send up their own to uh, take the heavily armed walls. You'd send up the Greeks that you've subjugated, of course. Um, leave your units and claim the glory and take on the last defences. But yeah, there's still plenty of Martelosas left to uh, do the next assault, which has already started. They've already started to attack these Halberdiers. Um, I think the Halberdiers moved forward. I think they were getting focused down here. And they pushed forward to engage. As has their entire like force here, um, which is just making it a huge target for archers. So I definitely wouldn't be doing this. At least the artillery here is, uh, for the mortars though is hitting some stuff back here. But they're Greeks, and so the the Turks don't care if they've been hit. The Turks do not care. I mean, look at the uh, Turkish officer though. He's like, oh, I've got to lead these Greeks. All they do is complain about their economy and how they used to be. The heart of civilization. Yeah, I, I feel for that Turkish officer having to fight for fight with the Greeks. No offense to any Greek viewers here. 
I'm sure you're lovely people. I mean, we've got lots of Pavi Spears coming forward here. Okay, are these high? Oh no, these are just Hussai versions. These are light Spears. Then we've got some other... Are oh, these amazement? Ah. Well, there's like, no, there's a different type of Pavis here. They're just the non hussite type, and they're heavy. So if you're Hussite, you, you're light, apparently. You just can't afford the equipment, which is fair enough. Um, I mean, yeah, over here, this is not good. They need to stop blobbing up troops here. I, I know that you've done the job, Martelosus, and you've got inside, but you want to survive. You don't want to just get hit by a random ball. Uh, you want to probably get around here, flank around here with some swords. This is definitely a good option. I mean, it might leave you open to these uh, crossbows, but... Who cares? Definitely try it. Uh, what's breaking here? What the hell it is? As I expected, they got focused on by all these archers. I mean, it's the uh, and it's the hybrid type. So these guys are like heavy melee infantry. They're really good. These are uh, yeah, these early Yensari uh, archers definitely butchered that name, but oh well. Very very good unit. Uh, but yeah, so we so we've got looks like we've got a uh, sergeant spears in here. Find some martelosas. Who's actually fighting? There's like this tiniest little bit of fighting really here. Like there's five of you trying to take out one Turk and he still can't do it. And it's not even a Turk, it's one Greek. Get it together. Yeah, actually the Marcelosas aren't even really fire fighting. They just stood here. Letting the uh, Archer do all the work. Oh my gosh, that volley. But I wish it was as cool as it is here in, uh, in Vienna. Well, we're saying this is Vienna. Here in Britain, it is blooming warm. It is uh, like over 30 degrees, as it has been all week. And it's uh, unbearable to be in. And it's not helping with uh, the COVID situation. People are not social distancing. Which is uh, obviously frustrating when I want to go back to normality myself. But um, it looks like the halberdiers here are broken. That is good. Sergeants here almost uh, gone as well. So it's just leaving me with the spearmen. They're committing a lot of their troops already to holding this initial place. I guess this is not a bad idea. But yeah, here come the poles. They're already are moving. The poles are moving. I think they're going to have to charge in soon, these poles. The artillery is very vulnerable. Uh, I do like how the cavalry knows that the poles are here. Like in the actual Siege of Vienna, they had no idea where they were. I mean, they sort of knew that there was an army behind them, but they didn't know where they were exactly, so they weren't really prepared. But uh, as you can see here, we've got archers and cavalry already ready for them, which is a bit a bit annoying. And they've got halberdiers here. Look at this. Halberdiers and shock ready for them. Um, I guess all, they, all the poles have to do now is just wait, be patient. I mean, there's still a lot of swords, so sadly, um, that the Bohemians have got to get through. But if the Bohemians can hold here long enough uh, and whittle down as many of these uh, forces as possible, then eventually they'll have to send more and more away from here, and that's when the poles could strike. But there's just so much left, and there's, like, those archers are also swords, so they're really good, and they've broken through this choke point here, which is now making uh, everywhere else very vulnerable. And look at this huge fall back here. This is uh, not a good sign. And the Greeks still live on, so they're going to be able to fight on the next attack as well. So they've got into a through a couple of layers, and the sergeant spears here being focused down as they retreat. Has there any ammo left in that mortar? Oh, only a little bit. Aim for blobs. This is a blob. A bit of one, anyway. Oh, no, you're going for ones out here. That's not a bad idea, actually. Not getting many kills, though. We've got one kill. Yeah, definitely want to take out as many of these archers as possible, but I don't know if that's happening. The poles keep moving. Are they coming forward now? I wonder. We have arrived. It's what the poles will be thinking. But yeah, I believe that... Um, I'm pretty sure I probably said it in the last... Uh, in the last Siege of Vienna we did. Um, that... I think that this uh, rat, this like charge by the Polish knights uh, or the winged hussars, as it is in history, um, was it like how like the charge of the Rohirrim is influenced in the uh, Battle of the Pelennor Fields? I feel like it's Tol Tolkien. I think gets the idea from there. I do believe. 
I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that is uh, the case. Look at this. They're not even looking the right way, and he's going to they're going to just shoot at the defenders. How are they even doing that? There's no one there. I guess they're shooting. Oh, they're shooting at these pavies up here. That's a waste of ammo, but I guess that's good for the Bohemians that they're wasting their ammo on a broken unit stuck up there. The general's already falling back to this little uh, area here. If you can, if you haven't recognised that this is the same, uh, the same. Uh, fort that we use for the uh, final defense of the Templars. If you haven't checked out that battle, I do recommend you do go and do so. But yeah, the Poles look like they're setting up into like three regiments uh, made up of three units, and they're going to just charge it in different directions. I'd send this one, I'd send these two even while, like further right, or split these up, so you can get in behind because you're going to need to. Um, I think the Poles should have been able to upgrade their units, like these guys. What? I thought they were all... Okay, we got an early Polish knight here. I would have brought all late. I don't know how much money they had to spend, but you needed all the late units you could get. They've got some early in each one, and they got a high? Oh, oh no, that's the great... Oh, no, that's not even the great banner of Krakow. Jeez. This one's already taking casualties. How? Is it the artillery, possibly? Ah, uh, it might have been. It has turned around. Oh, we'll have to see what happens here. It'll be interesting. Personally, I think they just need to stay away from the halberds, and they can probably get through everything else gradually. Just keep charging. I mean, this cavalry's going to need to go first. Oh, that's also getting fo focusing them down. Yeah, these knights are just going to focus down. They need to just go in. What are they doing? What are they doing? Here they go. Here they are. they've arrived in a very anticlimactic way. Look at that. That's not that's not a good charge. And now they're getting focused down because of it. Idiots. It is losing troops for no reason. Look at this marching. Oh, this is a this is moving fast. That is moving fast. I don't believe it for one second. That's moving fast. There we go. Uh, I'm gonna say, I don't know. I think the Balkan nobles have got it just because of the chevrons. But is most of the cavalry engaged? Most of the cavalry is engaged, and now they can flank in on the sides. Oh, this will be nice. This will be nice. Great banner of Krakow. Into the side of these archers. They've caused so much damage so far. Rout these men. Rout them. Please. Push them into the fire. Burn them. I wish that actually worked. Yeah, they're losing decisively. Another charge. Another charge. Rout them. For good. Yeah, they lost six men. Oh, no, not even that. Four men. Charge them again. They charged this uh, shock infantry unit, only killing 12. And they're 14. They're going to do the same on this side by the looks of it. I just go, go in for the shock infantry. That's what's going to do the most damage to you if you don't uh, get it now. Great banner Krakow on this side. Oh, they have a, they were late in a high one. Oh, that's good. That's good at least. They have the high one. I did oh, The late one, sorry. I did think there was one. And there we go. Into the side. Yeah, let's have a look at the great banner Krakow late. That does look very nice. I will admit. But I mean, yeah, you don't want to stay in there long because they will start chopping you with their axes. But yeah, they want to probably aid this cavalry fight as much as possible because they're not setting up infantry to help. And they've got their archers and gunners back here, but they're not firing anything. I mean, these archers are firing slightly, but they're obstructed. Uh, looks like the general's going to win over here against that unit. That's good. Over here, looks like we're going to have another charge from the Great Banner of Krakow. Polish knights need to go in again. They're losing too many men, I think. Of the poles. But I mean, there isn't much inside here that the uh, Turks have got to work, like, working with. It's kind of a bit of chaos. Oh, and here we go, another cavalry fight. That's going to be uh, definitely numbers and upgrading, saying that the Turks won that fight yet. I also, they went in their like, diamond formation and the poles didn't. And there we go, another good charge there. Heavy infantry. They could be in trouble. I don't know. I don't know though. Like the other one's getting close and might get involved. Yeah, there you go. I think it's getting involved. They need to get out of there. They just need to, like, you go in. Two seconds and you get out. I mean, yeah, they're losing a lot of troops. They're fighting the gunners here. The poles. But, I mean, it's not looking so good. The Turks may take Vienna. They're defending their general with uh, some uh, archers. Just charge these archers. Don't even go for, like, kill, go for their general. Like, taking out all these uh, shock infantry and archers and stuff. I mean, go, or just go for the archers. Like, there's a huge, like, weak spot here just taking out these archers. 
Like, they're not moving their uh, shock infantry. I mean, he's losing it here. Poles are losing there. They really need to get these, uh, this cavalry broken. And they've got more cavalry over here fighting. Oh. Sorry for the lag there. I don't know why that, like, all of a sudden came in. Maybe it's just like, ugh. Poles. No. We must lag. Stop them from arriving. But yeah, so, I mean, here we go. We're going in. Vulcan nobles, are they falling back? Yeah, they're pretty... They are losing pretty hard. The Poles need to do more, though. They need to do more. I mean, Bohemia is just ready and set up, ready for his death right now. He's got very little ammo left on his mortar, which he's still using. I mean, I possibly wouldn't. I mean, these guys are fairly blobs still, but that was actually a good hit. That was a good hit. I'll give him that one. And that one sort of hit. They're not exploding yet, though. I'm waiting for the explosions. There. Oh, there's one going off. Another one needs to go off. And usually about two of the th four go off. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens. There we go. Oh, gosh. That was horrendous. And the other one went off there. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. That one went off as well. That is ridiculous. Um, and it was so bad that the music just all of a sudden randomly stopped. Um, but yeah, so we'll have to see what... Okay, so we're back here. Yeah, there was a little bit of juttering and I just wasn't happy with it. Uh, so we got... We have reloaded and it's perfectly fine. So I just need to remember uh, that clearly for some reason Attila went on the first replay when I'm importing these in. Doesn't like it. Uh, so we're going to have to just make, make sure I do that. So, but yeah, as you can see here, um, we have like a new box almost uh, being formed here. We've got archers, cavalry, infantry, shock infantry, all defending the general here right in the middle. So they're clearly getting worried about this uh, cavalry for some reason. I really wouldn't be. I think they've done quite a good job in repelling it so far. They're going to win this fight over here. They really need to surround this cavalry. They need to deter, get rid of these ones as well. Then I maybe would start to worry. But, uh, I mean, they should really start their assault on Bohemia now. Like, these units are just dying here. They're just getting shot by uh, arch towers and artillery. And are dying. Um, like, I don't think... Yeah, the more... No, the more looks like it's going to fire its final volley in a moment. There we go. Final volley going over here. We're going to see as much devastation as we did before. That was a good hit. Oh, that was a good hit as well. I'm just quite happy to leave as much close as today. I know they're Greeks and all, but they have lives. Greeks' lives do matter. A bit, a bit, maybe a bit less in this period than the Turks, but they still matter. They'll fight hard for someone. Probably you get for the enemy, but you know. They'd rather see the Turks die and them die than uh, see their fellow Christians die. I don't know, maybe. You don't know. Sabotage might be a thing. Um, but yeah, they won that fight, but they really need to go over here and help this fight out. Um, and this one. Um, they're not doing so hot over here. I mean, actually, no, this is... Uh, they're doing fine here. I keep thinking the poles are in yellow for some reason, but no, they definitely need help with this one then. There's a lot of poles here. The poles just need to charge into these, this, uh, arch these archers here. Who cares if they die? Um, they're gonna have done a lot of damage. Oh god, the gunners and the archers. Here we go. In they come. And that's gonna nullify those archers massively. Now get the next charge on for these gunners, please. Yeah, those uh, archers have gone down to like no strength. You could probably get the general. I mean, he's two chevron, two silver chevrons though. Uh, they need to send out either more to help this master. I actually don't think this is enough now to break through. Uh, General is under attack. Oh, just... Yeah, of course he's under attack. Yeah, this cavalry broke. Wow. At 37. This is a gold... Sh like, this is 15th century. And they're breaking there. I mean, they broke the ca uh, the arch as well, but for that trade, that's not great. And these gunners, I think, just helped with the morale bonus. Or buff, debuff, I should say. Um... But yeah, I mean, they're actually going to win over here by the looks of it as well. Quite possibly. I don't know. They've got cavalry over here that needs to rejoin. They are now finally beating this cavalry here. They're getting stuck quite quickly. They need to go and just, like, get behind this uh, Halbdier unit. Which is still just chilling here. Doing its thing. 
you know, mind its own business. Just send the rest of the stuff inside the city, Turks. You'll be safe there. You'll be safe. I mean, these Martelosas aren't so safe, but we don't speak of them. I think they're pretty safe now. I think, yeah, Mortar well and truly out of ammo now. Um, I'm sure it's got plenty of kills. We'll have to check that at the end. The general for Bohemia is already dismounted. He's uh, already calling it a day on doing any sallies out. I mean, you could definitely sally out uh, in some areas and just charge down some Martelosas for sure. Because I'm sure the Turkish player is more interested in what's going on over here with all this cavalry. I mean, you can see the air. Uh, I don't think the Poles had enough cavalry uh, to actually break through all this. I don't think they had enough. They needed infantry as well. They needed some infantry because in the actual assault, like, obviously the wing for Sazar, the, like, the famous bit, but there was infantry, a large infantry army sent by the Poles and the Holy Roman Empire. So they could have, uh, could have had some infantry. That would have certainly helped. Helped in like cavalry fights like this, he could just send up some like shock infantry or some normal infantry. And that would get rid of this uh, cavalry a lot quicker. But yeah, you can see now moving what's left of his uh, like reserves here, like inside the sea, as he's realizing he's going to need them for uh, this assault here because uh, these guys are getting messed up for no reason. I mean, there I know there's like probably less than ten melee units left and a couple of units of archers, and that's it. But it's going to need more than that. But it is close still. It's about just over a thousand difference, about three thousand, uh, a thousand four hundred difference. Sorry. Uh, they're finally moving these halberdiers. I don't know if like the Turkish player was like AFK. He just didn't respond at all to like half the stuff. He's just like kept out here at the mercy of the Polish cav. But he's moving it now. <laughs> and so yeah, these uh, these gunners are not so appetizing to go for anymore. They've now got. Italian mercenaries in behind. How dare these Italian mercenaries side with the Turks? Of course the Italians always are changing sides. It's a typical move in history. I mean now I'd just be attacking the front or the sides. They've got pretty weak stuff on the, the sides. Also you want to take out these hybrid archers. But I mean the Sultan, uh, I presume it's Suleiman the Magnificent is supposed to be because he is the guy that tried to take uh, Vienna or was one of the soldiers that tried to take Vienna. He's he's quite nicely cooped up in his little box here. But I'm going to just fast forward quickly, see whether we can uh, see uh, some engagement with infantry soon because it looks like the Poles are not going to do anything for a little while. I don't think they're going to charge into that box. Uh, they might go inside the city. I think that would not be a bad idea. Go inside the city and uh, you could go and support your Bohemian ally. And that would really catch the... Uh, Turks have because they, they're only infantry, they can't move as quick, obviously. Um, what am I? I presume you guys didn't know that cavalry moves faster than infantry. That's groundbreaking research there by Pope. Um, but yeah, so we have a uh, Billman going up first on this side. We have uh, just what left of the Martellosos here. I mean, actually, they're pretty fresh here. I don't think this side got shelled as much by the artillery. Um, but yeah, the, it looks like the Poles are going to set up into their weird formation again. Are these uh, halberdiers looking the right way? I'm just looking. No, they're not. Charge these halberdiers. These are light pole arms as well. Charge these guys. Oh, he is. He is. He's going to charge them. Surely the Turkish player is not going to allow these pole arms to get charged. I mean, apparently these guys are moving fast. Oh, they're exhausted. Okay. Um, yeah, the charging of those archers, that seemed like it had to happen. But here we go. Yeah, these guys are exhausted. Uh, I don't believe this is still moving fast, though. Here we go. That's moving fast. And there we go. It's annoying that I can't get a good zoom in because of the wall just being here. But uh, there we go. Should have done that. But there you go. I imagine a lot of these men died. 60 of those guys got killed. Do another charge. Another one. Uh, I expect more. Uh, this one should just bang into them as well. And then that's another unit gone. And they just charge into these archers in the front. Go and pin down the general. Kill him. And then Bohemia can deal with this lot. Bohemia can deal with this lot. For sure. Oh uh, yeah, but definitely take out all these billmen with your archers. A really nice target to go for. I mean, they've got archers back here. They're going to need to get these crossbows a little bit more higher up, I think. Still obstructed. 
I just send them up like round here, go and shoot because they've got nothing here. I mean, they have got stuff, but again, again, you'd be able to see it coming a long way off. He's going to charge those gunners. Oh, this could be painful. Charge the gunners, and he's going to follow into the halberds. Oh no, the gunners kind of actually help the poles there. They kind of did. There's great banner of Krakow though. They're slowly dying. They're pulling out, and yeah, it's going to waver and go possibly. Yeah, those gunners, they're made of tough stuff. Where is the rest of the cavalry then? What's it doing here? Doing its own thing. Men are breaking off, eh? I presume that's against. Yeah. So what went there? Martelos, there's more Greeks running away. Their classic Greek move. Along with the French. They do it a lot. But yeah, these billmen are just going to set up. Uh, we've got more sort of pole arms here ready. And we've got shock infantry already going in. And these guys are going to have to fight off halberdiers of their own. Uh, so that's not a bad matchup. I mean, these halberdiers here are getting actually messed up by the archers. Why they're losing decisively. I mean, these heavy infantry might eventually break through these halberdiers. Halberdiers don't obviously have the same reach as pikes, so you can kind of get in behind uh, the halberdier line, or like in inside the halberdier's reach and line. And they're sort of doing it over here. They're sort of turning that corner, forcing them back. It's such a thin line of halberdiers. It's quite easy to do. Might need to send some uh, spear sergeants up. Then over here we just got the blob of all blobs and we've got like a load of pavis here holding. This looks magnificent. Oh, look at that. That line after line after line of big shields. If you're like one of these Martelosos, you'd be like, well, we're going to be here for a while. Trees on fire. They see how desperate it is. Uh, I don't really know what the poles are doing, to be honest. They've... I don't think the poles were uh, had enough, and I don't think they've done enough. I think it didn't help that the Turkish player could see them coming, and knew they were coming, so uh, you could prepare. I think that there should be like no pre like to do this well. You need to have like no preparation for the Turks. They're not allowed to prepare. And there we go, another charge. That's not a bad charge. You take out these archers. That's three units of cav in there. Yeah, they're losing decisively. I mean, the cab's still wavering here. Now the general's going in. And they're trying to charge through into halberds. What are they doing? The poles are just suicidal. You can see how many of them are dead here because of those... Uh... Oh, yeah, because of those halberds, as more of them do it. Idiots. Idiots, and that's the general. That's the general just charging onto pikes. At least charge here. This is archers. They're still good archers, but they won't be appreciate. They won't appreciate being uh, charged by cavalry still, like anyone else, apart from a man with a very long stick. He'd love it. It's what he's all. It's what he's used for. But here we go, the final assault onto Bohemia is underway, and it looks like uh, the Spear Sar Sergeants are now in here. Looks like the Halberdiers are being evaporated. Yeah, I can't see them, any of them left. And you've got to think that these are... Uh, I mean, actually, this Shock Infantry is losing. Um, it's heavy infantry, surely you've got to break through these Spear Sergeants just over time. I mean, the Turks might want to send stuff all the way around, really pressurize them, but here we go. Bohemia's going to do what I was thinking he should have done, and he's now going to flank around and uh, attack there. But, I mean, it's might as well. These guys over here are just unaware, and they're so far away. Here they go. <laughs> as I say it, they mobilize. But, yeah, I definitely would try and catch these guys out. Flank round uh, as well. I think they need to send one of the Pavi Spears up to here, hold this choke point here. And then allow the other one to go in here and do stuff. But it's Pavi on the assault. Never really a great idea. Um, but yeah, I certainly turn one of them around. Turn one of these guys around because the Turks are coming. 
The Turks are coming. There they are down that street. And they're coming up in their... Uh, well, that was in a column formation. It's not really that famous. Uh, they're building and breaking. I think the Bohemians made a fatal mistake. He's sending, retreating some pavies from this side, which, I've, in fairness, I don't think are going to be needed. He needs to put them over here. Okay, here come the Turks. They're going to catch all these pavy spears out. I mean, they're actually breaking. We're going to beat this heavy infantry, given the time. Maybe with the help of the archers back there. Match on the artillery now. But yeah, the, the uh, spears are starting to lose. Once you're a Pavis, you don't really want to form like the overhead formation. You want to form the shield wall, which they're doing here. So much more effective. But here we go. The Greeks are going into the back, the Martelosas. And there you go, they're in. In they go. And I bet if I take the hood off, yeah, losing decisively. That's what happens when you flank Pavis. So I uh, have to say rip to those two units of Pavis. And Bohemian made a fatal mistake there. And the crew's going in for the mortal already. This will be where the final stand's made. They're actually making a break here. A break through the lines here. Going to split these two formations up. I mean, this uh, Voinuk can't be doing well here. It's getting flanked constantly. Probably wants to reform that line. But here we go, more Martelosas coming up. And they've dealt with all the poles. And this new box is no, new box is no more. Poles are, uh, yeah, all running off into the into the sunset. Well, it's not even a sunset. It's uh, I don't even know what this is. What is this? I don't know. Some grim, horrible cloud. But yeah, there you go, more breaking going on. The general's now in it already. Dismounted in amongst his men. See if we can find him. He's a king, so he'll have a crown on. I can't see him. Oh, there he is. Black armor on. I presume that's him. Uh, maybe not. That might be the Pavis officer. Maybe it is. Maybe it is him. But yeah, there you go. Pavis losing. Did they send another one down here. Or did they honestly? Did they honestly send three units in here? Jeez. That was a massacre. Or it is a massacre. And they're all gone. They're not doing so well. Shame, Pav I think Pavis can form square. If they can, they should have done that. But they'll eventually break through this side as well, I think. I don't think they've got enough now. The Turks are going to get Vienna. It's an epic front line though. Huge amount of troops on both sides just piling up here. I mean, Bohemia is literally committing everything. They just got their crossbows left. I don't know why they've sent these crossbows in. Maybe they just got too close and they got inva uh, involved. I don't know. But they need to uh, try and focus down any reserves. Just rack up kills now. The Turks aren't even moving their troops from back here apart from the general. They don't even think they need them. They probably don't. They can see what's going to happen. But uh, I'm just going to fast forward a little bit. As, uh, well, it's coming to an end. It's becoming a big grind here, really. There you go. The Pavis have all gone in there. As expected. Now everything can just swarm in here. And this is a big blob. Yeah, like, now saving some ammo with the mortar would have been great. Like, they're... Like, this would have hurt the morale so badly. And there's some huge pops. Like, look at this one. You killed so many men doing that. So many men.
as the screaming goes on. On this side, I mean, they're slowly pushing back. It is now literally a one-man line in some areas. Oh, there's friendly fire. These crossbows are firing into the back of their own pavis as well. I've seen a few drop that definitely shouldn't have dropped. But yeah, I mean, they're getting through now. There's holes in this line. I'm sure this pavis unit is, uh, yeah, losing decisively. Gonna need to send these crossbows in soon. I get the general back on his horse. Go and do some charges quickly. You'll try. You'll do a lot more damage than him fighting down here in combat. If you've got this far, I hope you've enjoyed it so far. Um, I mean, it's been it's been pretty epic, I will admit. Is that certainly the first bits were pretty damn awesome to watch when there's the burning towers, um, but it is kind of getting to that part of the battle where it's just the, you know the inevitable's coming. It's just when, and that inevitable is when the Turks break through, and they have now. They really need to get a move on, get moving these guys. Just attack the Pavis. They don't need to. They are just standing here, and they took about probably 10, 20 casualties. But there you go, yeah, they'll go through those pavis like hot knife through butter. Are they losing sight of me? No, they're actually holding their own. Okay. I'd send these pavis crossbows over here back. This is the only flank that's held well. It's all Martellosis, that's why. Blaming, blaming Greeks, don't know what they're doing. Uh, they're actually, I have brought everything inside now. We've got pay it guard. Did they actually break those mercenaries? No, they're there. The Italian mercs haven't taken a single casualty yet. Not a single casualty. But I mean, yeah, it's not looking good for Bohemia. I mean, you can see more troops uh, fleeing here. Archer Sons are still alive. This breakthrough is going to happen in any moment. They need to send more up here, I'd say. Send more. Send another unit around here. Like, look at this. This is not. No need for this. This is what you shouldn't do. You shouldn't blob. Uh, you're just tiring out your men. Just send in the, the needed troops. The general's losing now. Our men have regrouped. Same over here. This is blobbing. There's just no need. If people think it does better. I mean, you could get a unit around here. That would help. That would certainly help with a flank. But blobbing doesn't help at all. It's not going to help push through. Weight in numbers is not helping, like, massively. Uh, there's a pull through, though. They pulled through that. That unit hadn't broken. Um, but I guess... Well, I don't know. The Turks shouldn't have done that. Kind of a just nullified that attack. That defense of the uh, Bohemians there, but... I'll let it slide. They were going to win anyway. It wasn't going to be a match deciding pull through. Where's the general? Uh, yeah, the general coming up with his reserves. Minding his own business, inspecting the troops, taking his time. Then we've got, uh, yeah, the, see they're going to do it again here. Going to just pull through by uh, attacking another unit, which is just uh, not really on. Should really just engage. I know you shouldn't have to do this. Like you've got plenty of time. Take out this Pavis crossbow, and you can just go and charge into the back here. And they're doing it now. Hopefully, we'll lose some men for it. Um, but I mean, send the rest of the troops up. Send them around here. This is you're in now. Yeah, they're losing troops, and so they should. Losing their shock, they might lose everything here. It's all losing decisively, and that's what you get for it. Uh, yeah, wavering, wavering. This one's you losing. It's what you get for, yep, yeah, massive chain route. This is what you get for uh, pulling through. 
That's why you don't pull through. Wow. Big chain route. And they're all going to kill as they run through. Sudden's right. And that huge push. Now everything's gone. I mean, they've got now issues over here, though. They're starting to wave over here. We've got Pavi going. This unit's left. And there we go. They're just chopping away at what's left of these Turks. They go retreat. I'm sure there's plenty of dead here. All Greeks. Imagine being a Martelosa and you're just like, I've made it all this way. And then you just get chopped down as you run. Because your general told you to just pull through a unit. But that's certainly giving them some relief, actually, as the Bohemians. I mean, like I said, this is now the uh, worrying area. I mean... Yeah, here comes the general. He's coming with the next wave to come up here. He just needs to charge his general in and then charge into the back here. He's the only cav unit on the battlefield. He'll be fine. Units starting to waver all over the place for the Ottomans. They've got now... Look at this. 108 and they're wavering. They're being flanked. They are ever so slightly by the general bodyguard. Yeah, this has got to be the general in this black armor here. Or the king. He's got a tiny. He's got the king. Has got like the tiny. Oh no, he's got. I thought he had a tiny sword. He's got a mace. I was like, what is he doing with that? But yeah, let's just fast forward and just see how this ends. I imagine it's going to break over here first. They're going to sweep round, and that'll be it. There's still one unit holding it, or it could be. Oh no, they're both wavering now. No, one still. It might be the general then. General will go through these uh, archers, like so. And then they're routed just like that. Now they should just carry on in. And they could probably route all of this. The general for the uh, Bohemians actually, actually got around. Need to send these pikes back in. Uh, they're going to pull stuff back. Defend. Uh, I presume defend their rear. As uh, these pavies hold on. But I mean that's actually released the Turks. Which has allowed these sergeants to get in behind. So I'll have to see what happens there. I mean the general yeah is not even like mobilizing. They're going to fall back to this little tiny choke point here by the looks of it. Uh, but I think the general might break before then. Who knows? He's not looking so good yet. Unit's starting to break, Maceman. Just getting chased down. And there you go. A chain route. And a Pyrrhic victory for the Turks. It was pretty close in the end. Um, but I think the Turks had it after the Poles certainly died. Um, but yeah, so there are the results um, for the Ottomans. A thank you for Burak, uh, BB, sending this in. Um, it was a very good siege in the end. Uh, he got 211 kills with his uh, heavy infantry, one of the best. Uh, he got 100, no 225 with his Martelosis there, 292 with that one. That's even better. Uh, and 242 with his archers, uh, or with his like his uh, hybrid ones. And his archers are getting 169 kills. It's not bad at all. Uh, that's probably like his most stood out ones. Uh, 252 there with those archers as well. Then we got Legion, who was playing as Bohemia. Uh, he had a pretty rough defense. He got 223, uh, 233 kills with his pavis there. Um, his Ar Ar sergeant archers, sorry, got 122. His uh, maceman got 180. Uh, and then nothing else. Uh, 140 for those spear sergeants is pretty good. And then we have 343 for uh, the win. For the win. Uh, he was playing as uh, the Polish. And I don't think he did enough, sadly. I think he uh, could have done a little bit better. 170 kills with his great banner of Krakow late. Uh, I, they're pretty damn elite. You probably want to see them getting more kills than that. 190 with 98 with his high one. See, that's even better, and that was the lower tier one. 160 with his general, and 127 with his Polish knight saber. I think he could have spent more money if these guys are spending like the amount that they were spending. Uh, I know Cavs are more expensive. But you can definitely bring more, and you could chevron stuff up, which would certainly would have helped. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed them, please do leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and leave a comment to show your support. And until next time, Legionnaires, bye for now.